Hello my beautiful butterflies, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here my name is Beverly and it is lovely to see you today. In this video we're going to be talking about pacing at Christmas so grab a cup of tea and let's get to it. <laughs> Stop it, don't watch me. You asked me to be in here. Yeah but don't watch me. Oh. So today it's coming up to Christmas and I thought I would make this video about pacing at Christmas because it's so important. We put so much pressure on ourselves to do everything and to be what healthy people can be and what they can do and we forget that actually we're not able to do that and a lot of us will suffer with massive flare-ups of our symptoms or illnesses because we don't pace ourselves for big occasions. I have written a lot about this on my on my blog so I'll leave links to those down below but today I just wanted to talk to you about some ideas I had of ways that we can pace and make things a little bit easier on ourselves on Christmas day because it's already going to be weird. Why not try something new? You know? So the first thing I was going to say is be honest. If you've got family coming which I really hope you don't have family coming because you know plague if you've got family coming for the day be honest if you're not feeling well if you need help be honest with them tell them how you feel maybe ask them to bring a pudding or bring a starter with them that will take a little bit of pressure off you it's also a great way to make it feel more family like because your sister or your cousin or your mum can bring a pudding that they've made and it's a really nice way to just take a little bit of pressure off you. Also why not be honest you know getting a team together working as yeah like a little team getting your family to help you so you're doing the majority of it if you are the person who usually takes control like this Christmas I think I'm going to be doing the cooking so I'm really scared about that it's the first time <laughs> but asking family to help out a little bit is going to really help being honest about how you're feeling is going to help so much as well just telling people you know what today I'm not feeling too great so I'm going to serve dinner and then I'm just going to sit down and chill if you need anything just help yourself it's a good way to make it feel less pressured and if people don't understand how you're feeling feeling that's on them it's not on you the next thing I wanted to say is pacing is basically scheduling out your time so dividing you know the couple of days run up to Christmas or the day of Christmas into little chunks like little half an hour bites put in like here's half an hour I'm going to just go upstairs and lie on the bed for half an hour or here's half an hour I'm just going to rest here or taking like cooking the meal and breaking it down into little sections, little things that you can do beforehand, little things that you can do to make it easier for yourself, that's pacing. And it's something that we tend to hear a lot about in the chronic illness community, but we find really difficult to do. So scheduling rest during the day is gonna help you so, so much in not having such a big fallout or flare up of your illnesses afterwards, but also making sure that you have scheduled in a few days where you can just rest after Christmas is great. Maybe make some food beforehand that you can have as meals for the next few days so you haven't got to create meals or make meals anything that you can do to just take that pressure off you and give yourself time to rest is great and it's going to help so much. Next thing I'm going to say is using pre-made or frozen options is going to help so much. For me I've bought a frozen turkey is it called a turkey crown Lee? A frozen turkey crown for us has been great it means that we haven't got to carve up a turkey and it's not got bits inside it that need taking out and stuffing and that it's just all already done I've also bought every all the vegetables frozen these are great ways that I've found that I'm like I've just got to reheat these things I haven't got to cook it from scratch I haven't got to worry so much about it it's not going to take up as much time and as much energy from me that is so 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 important and I definitely say that nowadays supermarkets have so many options there's so many pre-made things you can buy pre-made mashed potatoes you know the Yorkshire puddings like whatever you have there's probably a ready-made option now I know a lot of people are down on these things and Christmas day you might feel like no I like to make everything from scratch make it really special but 
if you're ill if you're struggling if you are worried about your illnesses flaring surely it's better to cut a few corners and keep your illness more steady than trying to do too much and ending up in hospital or something especially at the moment you know you don't want to end up in hospital so just a thought and the last thing I wanted to talk about was dismissing guilt I think a lot of us walk around feeling a lot of guilt and a lot of frustration with our illnesses that we can't do the things we used to be able to do we can't do the things we want to do maybe you've always done Christmas a certain way and your children or your husband is used to it being done that way and now you're sick and it's all got to change I think it's good to concentrate on the memories you're going to make this year has been a crazy whirlwind of a year let's be honest and it's way more important to have a nice day where you just sit down for a simple meal you have some nice memory building things that you do together and that's what it's about rather than feeling guilty over the small things that you've got to cut corners of or the fact that you've got to go and have a nap you know just finding a way to lift that guilt off you and look at it as if I rest now then I can do that charades that we always do after dinner later or I can sing later or whatever it is you do we're always stuck in this we've always done it this way and I think sometimes it's good to just take stock and remember that when you have chronic illnesses when you're disabled you can't do things the way that people expect and if you've got an aunt who's complaining about the fact that you're not making your Christmas pudding from scratch just say to her well I tell you it'll be a big help you make it <laughs> <laughs> I really hope that these few ideas will give you something to work from, some little things that are going to help make your Christmas day the best it can be this year. I know things are strange, I know it's going to be really really weird, we, we know, but I think it's time to just really take it back to the simpleness of life. Uh, so I hope that these things helped you. If they did, don't forget to head down below and leave this video a cheeky little like so I know that you enjoyed it, that you got something from it and that I can bring more content like that to the channel in future. While you're down there, leave me a comment. Just say how you're going to be pacing on the day. What little ideas you've had that you can make the day a little bit easier on your body. It's by leaving comments like that that you can help other people. So I really do ask that you leave me a comment down below about how you're going to be pacing this Christmas day. And lastly, if you're not yet subscribed, it would be wonderful if you hit that subscribe button. I am creeping my way to a thousand subscribers. I would love to get there. I'm in the 900s, which is crazy to me. It's been lovely to see my channel growing and I would love to see you part of the family. So why not hit that little subscribe button, ring that little bell, so you always know when I upload. I'm usually here Mondays and Fridays, my health permitting. I always do my very best to be here with you every week, twice a week. I hope you all manage to have the best Christmas possible. I hope that you don't have any flare-ups, that you just have a wonderful memory building day. If though you are sitting down having a rest, why not grab a cup of tea, put your feet up and check out this playlist that I put together for you. I really hope that you'll enjoy it and that you'll stick around and enjoy some more time with me. Have a wonderful Christmas, have a really wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mwah. <laughs>